Good morning, guys. This morning, woke up 179.9 pounds, guys. Finally made it to below 180. Let's check out the abs. Crazy. Honestly, what I think it is, is just me getting sleep. Sleep. <laughs> that really helps me so much. Just keeps the fat shredded. Just shredded off the body. Of course, as long as I'm at a clerk deficit. But um, for me, helps with so many different things. Like my body's hiding, you could say, water weight, sleep, along with, of course, like a carb up. Definitely helps whoo, swish that away. But um, it's cool. I'm excited. 179.9 pounds. I'll maximally take it to 175 in terms of this cut. Not totally sure, but um, we'll see how this goes. What I do think I'm going to do is also, uh, I've been doing HIIT cardio every uh, night of an upper body day. So, you know, my schedule is lower, upper, off, repeat. Uh, I've been doing HIIT cardio basically every um, upper body day. And uh, what I'm going to do is turn that into just a... Uh, 400 calorie, low intensity, medium intensity cardio session so that I can uh, you know, focus more on saving my nervous system for the, <laughs> for the uh, squats and the deadlifts and the benches and the overhead presses. So that's going to be one change I'm making right now. Um, macros are still pretty much the same. 65 fat, 300 carb, 225 to 250 protein, um, two days. And then every leg day I've been having like four to 450 carb, sometimes even higher fat. Um, and basically that day can be used as like an eating out day. So like I said, you know, I have my leg day uh, where I'll have, you know, between, let's just say 50 to 75 fat, 400 to 450 carb, 200 to 250 protein, and then two days of 65 fat, 300 carb, 225 to 250 protein. So it just goes. High day, and then two low days. High day, two low days. Uh, it's crazy. I, I get, for, for me, the 300 carb day must um, be low enough. It must be like low enough, really low enough to uh, keep me in this, in this deficit, which, which has been telling me over these past you know, handful of weeks, several weeks, that uh, my metabolic rate is pretty strong. And I've been able to work it up over these pa over the past two years or so. It's really strong right now. Uh, if I was to do this in 2011, um, you know, I wouldn't be having this kind of fat loss simply because I have just a lot more muscle. Uh, I mean, it's kind of funny. I really don't, but I, I I do have a lot more muscle than what I did in 2011. And for me, that means more food, more food than I'm able to eat and uh, pound. So. It's exciting, guys. Uh, gonna go cook my breakfast now, get off to the gym with Megan, and have an awesome day. Let's do it. Cool, and I'm all ready for the gym now. Got on my Fit Seamless t-shirt from Gymshark. It's actually the 2.0 version. Uh, the, the previous version, it was a different color um, that they used here, and also I'm sure it's much better in quality and whatnot. Um, awesome, it's got this, uh, it's got this Gymshark thing down here. It reminds you what you're wearing. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little thing there. I've noticed that so many other people are starting to copy this. It's crazy. But uh fits really good. About to go work out and hit a... Uh, what am I about to do? About to go hit a upper body workout. I might even... I think I might actually bench press today for the first time in a long time. So uh, this is the Ember color. Definitely check it out. Use my discount code if you want to save like a lot of money. Uh, just click the link in the description box. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a wild flexing mystery girl appears. Wow. Max keeps licking me. Huh? Oh my like, god. I can almost have a lot spread. Wow. That's sick. I like the way this shirt fits on me. Do you, babe? Yes, I do. I like and it a I lot. feel very muscular. And your little, and, and, and <laughs> your tricep muscle just kind of like pops out. Oh, thanks, babe. Triceps. Fit seamless shirt. This shit's sick. I got all the other colors, but I'll show you guys that later. If you have, if, wait. <laughs> You're still here. Yeah. We're good. If you have blue eyes, you should get the blue one because they look really good on people with blue eyes. Oh, but what about the contrast? Like you colored your hair kind of, you know, reddish and you have really, you know, not <laughs> red eyes. Yeah, red, red makes your eyes look blue too, but it's still, yeah, that one would look good if you have blue eyes too, but the blue one looks really good. 
Oh, okay. So basically, guys, what she's saying is if you have brown eyes, sorry. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying you should emphasize the blue eyes if you have them. Oh, okay. With the blue shirt. Okay. Got it, babes. Let's go to the gym. Okay. Let's do it. Guys, not for real. Some really cool shit going on. Yeah, okay. guys, check this out. One, two, three. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So cool. Ready? Alright. Shit. <laughs> Ready? Okay. One, two, three. It knocked it over. <laughs> I know, right? She's making fun of me for wearing her glasses. <laughs> no, I'm not. She's like, take those off. Are you gonna with that? I'm like, hell yeah, I am. <laughs> right now we're at Target. We're gonna get uh, a few composition books for us to start tracking our workouts on paper. Um, you know, I always do recommend tracking your workouts somehow, whether it's on paper or whether it's uh, you know on your notebook in your phone, or if you have a dedicated app for that. I mean, it's all good, Excel sheets or whatever. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, put it all into a notebook because I found that quite often I'm not putting my uh, workouts into my phone when I'm at the gym. So I think if I uh, bring my notebook, you know, it'll, it'll give me a reason to want to log my workouts more often because the finished product right there is, is awesome. It's so cool having a notebook full of your workouts and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna do between seven and 10 sets of five with just 185. Raise the 10 pounds on the bench. <laughs> it's kinda humbling going back to this weight. So here you guys are watching my first working set of barbell bench press flat uh, in months. I haven't done this since January, pretty much. So it's been a long, long, long break from doing this exercise. Did it, I, I took that long break because, you know, I had two slight little uh, pec injuries. You could call them minor little strains, not necessarily a tear. Uh, and I decided that, you know, it's not worth me really messing myself up just to be bench pressing. So I, I took a break. Yeah, it feels good to bench again. How's your pec feel? Pec feels good. I'm feeling good. I mean, I've been doing like 120s on decline and flat bench on uh, dumbbell press and those feel totally fine and this feels fine too so i'm gonna do like one to two minute rest periods on this since it's really light for me and work my way back up guys lots of repetitions i'm doing like 10 sets of five that's 50 reps uh just to you know work my way up and i'm doing smaller rep sets with more sets just so my form i'm ingraining good movement patterns so that's pretty much it now you'll notice a lot of differences with how this bench looks compared to past bench presses. Just type in Matt Ogus bench press, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This looks different in many different ways. So leave a comment below how it looks different. There I am writing down my weights, something that I'll be doing uh, now and into the future. It's pretty cool, you know, writing this down and it's awesome that I actually have old, old notebooks full of previous uh, years of weightlifting. And it's just something I want to kind of leave uh, for the future me or the future whoever gets their hands on that damn thing. So let's talk about the changes that I've made. You'll notice here that I'm benching really wide uh, for me. Uh, normally I am at least <laughs> an inch or an inch and a half or maybe two inches uh, narrower per side on the bench press. So my uh, I, I was taking turns having my uh, having my ring finger and my middle finger on the rings. So for me that's extremely wide. I'm also taking just slightly less arch uh, and I'm also tucking a bit less or trying to tuck a bit less. Now I'm not having my elbows um, at 90 degrees compared to my body, but you'll notice that uh, it's just a slight uh, difference of how I used to tuck. I normally tuck with my elbows far beyond um, the bar. My elbows are past the bar normally. And that's really how I enjoyed benching and 
I probably would have continued doing that had I not gotten uh, you know injured. But uh, now that I'm working my way back up, it gives me opportunity to one try new things, uh, but also to perhaps test out and see if uh, a more flared elbow position uh, will benefit me in terms of just pressing heavier weights and also perhaps in um, kind of strengthening my pec itself um, making it bigger of course too utilizing more pecs in this bench press so for both bodybuilding and the powerlifting here uh, and perhaps even preventing future injuries to the pec on barbell when I'm barbell bench pressing now the thing is now that I'm watching this footage it's uh, I'm still I'm, it's funny because I when I was doing this it felt like I was really flaring my elbows but looking at it here there I'm still tucking quite a bit so even though it felt like I was flaring compared to my old school style of really tucking I probably only made a uh, maybe just a small change, a 10, 20, 30 percent change in terms of how much I used to tuck. So I still like in comparison to where I want my elbows to go, let's just say. So compared to how I used to tuck to where I'm trying to get my elbows to flare a little bit, um, I really only made a, a really small change towards where I would like them to be. But nonetheless, it still is uh, progress. And I'm still, uh, I can, you know, it's still um, an improvement from how tucked I used to be. So I'm pausing at the bottom with these reps. Um, I am wider grip, and I'm trying to flare my elbows out just a little bit more. I'm still tucking. It's just I'm not doing it. I'm, tr I'm testing out how it feels and how my strength will will be. You know, not tucking so much compared to how I used to. Now, I think you're looking at the 10th set of the bench here. And I, I was really just trying to get good angles so that I could see where my elbows end up, where the bar is above my elbows, hopefully, uh, and, and seeing whether my elbows are in front of the bar, behind the bar, or below the bar. I'm, what I'm trying to do is just have my elbows below the bar and not necessarily beyond or um, before the bar. And this set actually looks pretty good. Like this kind of looks how I would like it to look. Perhaps just a, maybe even a little bit less. But this, that kind of it looks pretty good. It looks, I, I liked that set. I liked that set a lot. After that, I did, uh, I did about five sets of these pull downs, and it was really funny. I, <laughs> as soon as I set up the pull downs, a guy just hopped right on, and I didn't start anything or even tell him because I actually I, um, I think he's uh, special um, so I, I, I just didn't want to cause any issues if that makes sense uh, and he just he just sat between his resting periods so you know I, I didn't want to start any problems uh, after the pull downs did some uh, paused incline dumbbell press it makes it so much harder when you pause at the bottom it's crazy so if you're you want to try something new give this a go uh, just pausing at the bottom just greatly increases the tension on uh, of this exercise uh, it's I mean you could compare it to doing a slower negative uh, it just it's just a way to uh, kind of manipulate this exercise there's so many different factors in terms of lifting you have the tempo you have um, whether you pause at the top or the bottom for how long, how many reps, how many sets, and there's all these different things that you can manipulate. And uh, it, what matters most is doing things that you prefer doing. <laughs> uh, consider that, or uh, assuming that you're doing it safely with good form, good technique. After that, dumbbell rows, I think I did four sets of 12. Uh, no uh, straps or anything, just because I, I love doing these strapless. It uh, gives me a chance to really just work on some grip. Works the hell out of my uh, my grip. Although the f although on uh, probably my heavy days where I do heavier dumbbells, I'll probably use straps. And also that way I can get more weight up on the uh, dumbbell curls. Uh, since you know I'll save a bit of you can say energy, so a little bit of uh, a little bit of humph for my dumbbell curls. So on the heavy upper days, 
where I do dumbbell curls, or if I if I do dumbbell curls, I'll uh, I'll be doing a uh, strapped After that barbell curls. I haven't I haven't been doing these in so long that uh, 60 pounds was giving me like such a crazy pump, and it was difficult. And also, I was kind of speeding through this workout. Uh, since uh, Megan was already done with her workout, I was trying to just kind of speed through. So I did about three or four, four sets of 13 reps with only 60 pounds. I'm only using a 60 pound barbell here, which is basically nothing. I, I, I'm pretty much doing air, but for me it was really, it was pretty damn difficult. Did some push downs, and uh, I think I did, uh, I did, what did I do? I think I did a set of 20, another set of 20, and then a set of 16 or something like that. After that, I did hammer curls with just the 30s, three sets of uh, 12 per arm. Um, and I also did uh, preacher curl, tricep extensions, pretty damn light. Did uh, 20 reps, 20 reps, 16 reps. All right, guys. She's looking amazing right now. Oh my gosh. We're at Indian food right now. Really authentic Indian food. I'm really excited to eat this bad boy. Okay. So guys, the bench press uh, today was actually really good. It was very good, huh? Your bench press was really good too. Yeah, it wasn't very hard. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, normally I really struggle with the um, five sets of seven yeah. days, but this wasn't that bad. Yeah. Why does it look so dark? Oh, it, it doesn't look dark. It was just in my head. It hand. could just be, oh, you have backlight on. I don't know what the backlight setting does. It uh, automatically adjusts, I think. Oh. It adjusts pretty well, wow. Not bad. Let me let me let me test this one. Wow. She looks like Jean Grey from X-Men. Except my hair is very long. Oh boy, I said, Her hair is short. It well, was? Actually no, actually it's long in one of them, but was then it? she cuts it in another one. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't seen the final X-Men video. Where you are showing it was on the United Plane. And you I guys should watch her vlog. Wait, no, no, I no, had a vlog. No, it's on your it's on vlog. My vlog. She's like, like freaking out. She's about like, it. I didn't get to watch a movie on this plane. Right. And she was so angry and sad. It was very sad. Cute. By the way, guys, I definitely think you should check out her vlogs. If you're a female or if you like watching females, it's a very entertaining vlog that she makes on a regular basis. And she's doing really good on staying up to date. Like honestly, she is pooping on my upload frequency now and of the past like she's killing it like she's doing a really good job I my like number her. one skill is time management and my number two skill is being a hard worker oh she's I'm a very serious. hard worker i'm serious it's like my if if god gives people gifts those are my gifts huh. that's all <laughs> i'm gonna stop looking at the now Alright guys, we start off this bad boy with a salad. It looks so aesthetically pleasing. And a little bit of this like orange ranch dressing. Like ranch dressing, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's dig in. Oh my god, guys, alright, it came. Boom. Tikka masala. The naan. The rice. The curry. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven right now. Oh my gosh, guys, so the craziest thing, actually, my phone, it can send pictures from the, the, excuse me, my camera can send pictures from the camera to my phone, right? And I haven't been able to figure out how to do video, and I ha I don't think it can. But with Megan's phone, the Canon G7X, uh, she can send video from her camera to her phone, and she just did it, and it looked awesome. It looked awesome. That's insane. That's awesome. That's so cool. God, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. No. Yeah. No way. We should go. Okay, guys, crazy thing just happened. I had to use the bathroom. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. At this uh, Indian restaurant. I walk in the bathroom, and there's absolutely no way for me to lock this door. Um, the door doesn't close 100%, and you, when I click the button, it does not lock. I tried everything. Trust me, tried everything. And I had to go to the bathroom. And I got desperate. I called her when I was in there, and I, but she left her phone in the car, and, and it was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. And anyone could walk in at any moment. I was like, this is really crazy. So I tried to get in and out as quickly as possible, just praying that no one walks in on me, and no one walked in on me. Oh gosh. 
Oh, yeah, no. I was actually about to come and get you and say, "Hey, babe, guard the door," but uh, <laughs> you couldn't hold it. I don't, I don't know if I could hold. hold I don't know if I could hold it. So. I don't think you could hold it. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, so we are back from Indian food, and we went to church, uh, where we completely missed what we went there for, but we mm -hmm. had a really good conversation with our friend Betsy. Good old Betsy. Yeah, that's right. Learned talked about, about aliens. Talked about aliens, UFOs, Bigfoot, conspiracy theories. Apparently the Old Testament talks about um, a boy who was taken and then returned the same age than when he left, but everyone else was dead and apparently aliens took him away. Okay. It's in the Old Testament. Don't quote me on that, I haven't actually read it. <laughs> and uh, we're both really sleepy. I, I actually look... I look really sleepy. Oh my gosh! I look really. Shot my eyes are. Yeah, your eyes were just. Well, they don't look that really. But earlier oh, they were. Betsy really, told me they were. Oh, they were pretty bad tired, really? guys. The yeah. jet lag is real. <laughs> it is serious. In. Um, blood it shot. wasn't bad when we went to the UK, but right now it's hitting us like a tidal wave of nails. Of That's, nails. Yeah. Also molasses. Yeah, molasses. And we're uh. really sleepy. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog of today. Uh, shoot us a like, comment, and if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channel and hers. And my Definitely check out hers too. We really appreciate you guys' support. And if we made you feel good inside, you better hit that like button. <laughs> and I'm sleepy. Good night, guys. He's gonna get his eyebrows done with me. Yeah, maybe. Tomorrow, tomorrow's an off day. Tomorrow's an off day. Hey, you're actually gonna be watching this. Uh, the same day that I filmed it. Isn't that crazy? So, um, oh yeah, I should probably back, I should probably shouldn't be that close, close to my face. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my nose hair. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way guys, I've been doing lots of periscoping, so follow me on Periscope. It's super fun. At Flex for All. Uh, Flex for All. F-L-E-X, F-O-R, A-L-L. Uh, we've been doing lots of Q&As, like I mentioned before. Really having a good time. We Q&A'd the heck out of Indian food earlier and had a blast. And, it's really uh, fun. I just, love Periscope. I really like Periscope. It's I'm going to start doing it probably two or more times a day. Seriously. It's I'm really gonna, fun. I'm, I'm going to try to Periscope two or more times a day. That's good. It's just such a cool, cool, it's cool app. Fun. It's the future. All right. Have a good night, guys. Good night. All right. Love you. Equip me, little bitch! Oh, his cake! Yeah!